Deputy Pierre had made his friendly call. It was not just to tell me about the purchase of his hi-fi stereo. He had... So it's the 19th of December, we're getting close to closing down now for Christmas, we're actually closing, today is Monday the 19th of December, uh, it's uh, 6.05 or thereabouts and we're closing down for the Christmas break on Thursday, half day, so we've only got three and a half days to go, there's a couple of things though we need to try and tidy up before we close. The most important and most pressing would be uh, property sales, property transactions, and completing those. So, just three outstanding sales there that probably, hopefully will close. One is a young couple buying a property in the west of Ireland. They're from the west of Ireland. That should complete today. They are carrying out a pre-closing inspection at the weekend, and I've transferred the money to the other solicitor and it's just a question of organising the searches. Once I get to go ahead from them this morning by email to say that the pre-closing inspection went okay and there was nothing, there was nothing untoward as it were to prevent the closing, we'll let it close today. The second one is a piece of land in County Mead. It's possibly going to be a development, residential development, possibly. But obviously the planning permission, planning uh, conditions and or planning uh, considerations would be a significant part of that but my client is buying the land in any case that sale should close today as well and finally there's another one it's a new house property in Enfield new house in Enfield in the Royal Oaks development very very nice development that we're just waiting for I've uh, got the money from the bank and that's the biggest job and from the client and we're just waiting now for the client to confirm that the snagging is okay. He's, so when you're buying a new house, when, you, when your solicitor receives the notice of completion of the build, then it's up to the purchaser to go and snag the property. And invariably, the purchaser will find things wrong. For example, perhaps a kitchen door, a fitted kitchen door that's not hanging correctly, or tiles maybe missing in the bathroom or you know painting or something like that relatively minor stuff certainly not structural minor stuff that you want fixed so basically the client goes around after they've been served or after I've been served with the notice of completion of the build and they will snag it and then the builder has a week 10 days or a fortnight to sort out the stuff that's uh, to be snagged or to be that's to be fixed so my client is going back someday this week, say we're closing on Thursday half day, so he'll need to get back, he'll need to hope that the builder has his stuff done, and we obviously need to close then, or transfer the funds rather to the builder's solicitor and complete the transaction. We're hoping to do that. Uh, that's the third one. I think that's really all we've got lined up uh, in the next few days. So three sales in a couple of days, it's not bad. Good way to finish the year. And, uh, but it will have to be done and there is a certain amount of uh, anxiety and stress and pressure and so on because obviously clients want to move into their new house, their new buy, build or their new purchase before Christmas and when we have the money and so on there's really no excuse for it not happening unless there's something outside of our control so we're hoping that will be the case. So I have a regular sort of a day, except I have to go off to Mullingar there for 9 o'clock this morning, there's a part gun in my car so I need to get that fixed and um, it's a regular sort of a day. We're hoping obviously to get those transactions completed. So that's the plan for today anyway. Yeah. 
the not for that then. Oh, good stuff. Thank yep. you very much. seem an odd setting for a Marxist, but I remember hearing of the lace curtains. It's one o'clock now, so feeding time at the zoo. We close here for lunch. It's nice to be able to just uh, close the door and lock it. Uh, at lunchtime from 1 to 2 because you'll always have people calling and ringing and uh, walking in off the street and so on so it's nice to close and I will have some of my my lunch now, my sourdough my sourdough bread, my own bread one sale there this morning, we'll close another one in the afternoon uh, just listening to the news there now Yeah, so we closed one sale there this morning. We should close another one in the afternoon. And uh, the one in the afternoon is a new property. The one we closed this morning was a second-hand property in the west of Ireland. And uh, the one in the afternoon is a new property. So I'm just waiting for the searches to be certified. When you buy a property, you search, do carry out legal searches on the day of closing and the vendor solicitor then must certify and or explain the searches. So I've sent through the searches, the other solicitor will uh, certify and explain them in the afternoon and when he does, we will then authorise the release of the funds and he'll authorise release of the keys and my clients then will be able to go to the site office, it's a new property in Enfield, and pick up the keys, so that's that. There's two more in the pipeline, there's a new house in County Kildare, that should complete tomorrow uh, I'm just waiting for title documents, closing documents to come and there is the piece of land in County Mead. I'm just waiting for money to come. So those two should close tomorrow. That's really it, I think, for Christmas. Wednesday then um, is the last full day we'll be here. Thursday we're taking a half day. We're still working away insofar as getting contracts signed and getting clients in to sign contracts and so on. And obviously that's a sale now that's supposed to complete early in the new year in January. And it's important in any business to keep a pipeline full or you know, as full as you can get. And obviously you need to uh, keep looking forward and getting new clients, getting new transactions, etc. etc. So it's all very well and it's great to be closing sales, etc. But you always must be thinking about the next one. And it's like anybody involved in any profession or indeed any business, or in sport, uh, you know, if you're playing golf, you want to play 15 good holes, but if you do, 15 is not enough. You want 16, 17 and 18 to go well as well. So you, you and it's like winning a club championship or a county championship. You always want to win another one. So you always looking ahead. That's the attitude you must have, I believe, uh, to succeed. So anyway, I'm going to enjoy my sourdough bread now. So my sourdough sandwich. Lunchtime, I drop into Twitter there to see what's going on, and the some of the stuff you come across is just incredible. Some of it is well informed, I suppose, but some of it is absolute bonkers stuff off the wall. But there's an appalling tweet there sent the other day by um, Conor McGregor about about uh, PJ Gallagher and basically sneering and laughing at PJ Gallagher's mental health difficulties this time last year and making an allegation that PJ Gallagher's wife left him and all this old shite. Shocking base sort of a, a thing to publish. Apparently it's been deleted at this stage, but I'd say the backlash was so bad and so strong that um, he had to delete it. But you know, it's an appalling thing to publish in the first instance. But Twitter can be useful. And there's a particular way of using it, and a particular way that I use it, which I find very useful. 
but it can also be an out and out sewer. So, but anyway, I dip into Twitter at lunchtime and I keep an eye during the day as well, but I don't really contribute much. Um, I, I tweet all right, but most of my tweets, uh, tweets, most of them are automated set up. And for some of the, some of the fruit that I put in the bag this morning, this is a fucking bad apple or bad orange, you know. But anyway, um, my fruit intake every day is fairly, fairly consistent. It's very consistent, in fact, and it's fairly significant as well. And I have a banana in the morning time, of two of these at lunchtime, two mandarins, and then I have an apple at evening time going home. And then after my dinner, I'd have, uh, I'd have um, probably an orange as well. So I eat quite a lot of fruit. Another channel that I keep an eye on there at lunchtime always and during the day would be my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel now has over 19,000 subscribers, 19,239, which is good going. And uh, I'm heading for 20,000. I'm obviously trying to get there as quickly as I can. But at the weekend there, um, or last week, or during the week, yeah, no, last week, I bought a drone and I flew it this weekend for the first time. And it's really, really good. It's a DJI Mini 2, I think it is. That's what it's called, and uh, it really is a serious piece of kit. So I'm hoping next year, 2023, to integrate some drone footage into some videos, not all the videos, obviously, but some videos, especially the likes of vlog type uh, videos, you know. But uh, the drone is uh, very, very impressive. It gives great quality, great quality video. So hope watch out for that next year. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel already, uh, you should consider subscribing.